Welcome boys and girls to another installment of Saturday Morning Cartoon Propaganda. It has been 7 years since Watchtower released this atrocious video titled One Man, One Woman, 2 minutes and 22 seconds of homophobic vitriol wrapped in a neat animated package. The Become Jehovah's Friend series has proved to be a real gift from Jehovah. So today we are going to revisit this propaganda we're going to dismantle it frame by frame and we are going to try to understand how it must feel like to be a member of the LGBTQ community being raised in this religion. Well, let's get to it. Two seconds in and we can already spot the obligatory out of context Bible verse. <laughs> that has to be a new record. Matthew 19.4 is speaking against divorce. It's not speaking against homosexuals. <laughs> they could just have used Leviticus 18.22, but maybe they thought it was a bit too barbaric to put it in a children's show. <laughs> Look, Mom. I drew our family in school today. Oh, wow. I didn't have time to finish Caleb's face. <laughs> Carrie drew two mommies. She told me they're married to each other. My teacher says that all that matters is that people love each other and that they're happy. Hmm. Well, people have their own ideas about what is right and wrong. Oh, I actually agree with you, animated lady. People do have different ideas on what is right and wrong. <laughs> So we can agree to disagree and still respect each other's decisions, right? Right? But what matters is how Jehovah feels. In other words, all opinions are invalid because I believe my opinion is backed up by the creator of the universe. Conveniently, God's biases and dislikes happen to align perfectly with my own biases and dislikes. He wants us to be happy, and he knows how we can be happiest. That's why he invented marriage the way he did. You mean one man and one woman? Exactly! And one man and his concubines, one man and his deceased brother's wife, one man and his sex slaves, and the list goes on. Kind of crazy the amount of different marriage arrangements that God instructed or at least tolerated for so long. Look at Genesis 127. Jehovah created Adam and Eve, male and female. Then in Genesis 2.24, he said that a man will stick to his wife. Later, Jesus said the same thing. Jehovah's standards haven't changed. Except when they did, and when God allowed polygamy for thousands of years to go on. For an unchanging God, Yahweh sure changes a lot. It's kind of like going on an airplane. What would happen if someone wanted to bring something on the plane that wasn't allowed? They can't go on the trip. Right. It's the same with Jehovah. He wants us to be his friend and live in paradise forever. Unless you're gay. This airport analogy falls apart if you think about it for more than two seconds. A common technique Jehovah's Witnesses and by extension a lot of Christians employ in order to not appear homophobic is to reframe homosexuality as a lifestyle, a choice, instead of, you know, part of your identity. <laughs> As if homosexuals just suddenly decided one day that they wanted to be gay. Sophia's mom is putting a severe burden on the gay community, asking them to change their identity in order to make it into paradise. As if your sexual orientation was just something you can toss to the side like some baggage. <laughs> what a silly illustration. The, the writers of Bethel are not the smartest bunch, are they? But we have to follow his standards to get there. At Matthew 7, 13 and 14, it talks about the road leading to paradise. To get there, Jehovah says we have to leave some things behind. That means anything Jehovah doesn't approve of. Yeah, and too bad the Christian community can't seem to agree on what God approves and disapproves. Of course, Matthew 7, 13 and 14 doesn't speak on leaving anything behind. It simply mentions that the road to everlasting life is cramped. But you know what Christians actually have to leave behind? Their judging attitude. I guess Sophia's mom just forgot to read the rest of the chapter. Maybe she was too busy making these awful art pieces. 
that I want everyone to get to paradise. So does Jehovah. Unless you're gay. And you know what? People can change. That's why we share his message. So, what can you say to Carrie? Well, I could tell her about the paradise. I could tell her about the animals and the resurrection. Or you could just leave her the fuck alone. That's awesome. Let's practice. So what is Sophia supposed to do now? Tell her classmate that her two moms are going to be destroyed in Armageddon unless they get divorced and abandon their gay lifestyle? How would she even mention the topic to Carrie? Oh yes Carrie, would you like to have your own pet panda in a perfect earth? Well, if you want to make it to paradise with your family, you have to tear it apart first. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. And what if Sophia actually manages to indoctrinate her classmate? She would just tear the family apart. So much mental anguish over a paradise that is never going to come. And I find it amazing how Watchtower tried their very best to sugarcoat this propaganda with bright colors, cute animals, and soft music, but it still comes off as incredibly hateful. Imagine being a JW kid who happens to be gay. How would you feel after watching this crap? And this is not the only anti-gay propaganda made by JWs, they also have a soap opera with anti-gay views and entire talks on the subject. We see it in their so-called gay marriage. Which you can view right here. There's also dozens of articles made for young people talking about the dangers of homosexuality. Like in this baffling book, it's a bit old but it's still on the website, that claims that masturbation can make you gay. Yes, I'm not joking. And one paragraph later, it also claims that people are not born gay, they are made gay. <laughs> I'm sure actual homosexual people would disagree on this. There's also worksheets that help JW teens explain their homophobic beliefs. Gay feelings are compared to fits of anger, again, as if your sexual orientation is something you should suppress instead of accept. And just take a look at this gem. The Bible says, honor men of all sorts. Therefore, Christians are not homophobic. They show kindness to all people, including those who are gay. But what if someone asks, doesn't your view of homosexuality encourage prejudice against gays? You might reply, not at all. <laughs> I reject homosexual conduct, not people. All you have to do is invert this statement and see how silly this argument actually is. Imagine if someone said, oh, I don't reject straight people, I just reject straight conduct. Doesn't that sound silly? <laughs> And of course, Watchtower can't help but compare homosexuals with smokers. <laughs> Except smoking is a harmful habit that people can leave behind and homosexuality is a part of people's identity that in most cases, it's impossible to suppress. And these are only two of the countless articles available on JW.org talking down on the gay community. This is an extremely homophobic religion. Nowadays, Watchtower doesn't pretend that people are not born gay, so they have to acknowledge that some of their members might contend with homosexual tendencies. But these members are never allowed to openly express their sexuality in any shape or form. In fact, Watchtower has claimed in the past that they don't even have any gay members in their communities, which is simply not true. So, I assume you have gay members in your church? Mm, no, we don't. So whenever JWs try to gaslight you into thinking they're not homophobic, just show them this video. I give this cartoon 10 out of 10 in the cult meter, absolute garbage. And the saddest part is that Sophia is not inherently homophobic. In the beginning, she's just curious about Carrie having two moms. It is Sophia's mom who teaches her to be intolerant. I can't tell you how much I hate this bitch. I, I've never felt so much hatred towards an animated character. She had her mouth on him when I think you're an idiot. I want to thank my beautiful Patreon community and channel members for your financial support. I couldn't do this without you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like, share with a friend, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I plan to eventually cover the entire Caleb and Sophia catalog, which is a lot of propaganda, so it's gonna take me a long time. So please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of it.
don't forget to think critically, live your best life, and stay away from the tower. Are you a homosexual?